cannot sit. I have this pimple to my leg. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. Hello and welcome back. Today we're doing a full on, uh, very fast video. I hope that I will talk about the animations inside Krita. And I'm gonna use only my mouse for this. So, yes, we're gonna do some frame by frame animations. So, I will try to give you all the basics that you need to create animations inside Krita. This here is Krita 5. So, uh, if you're completely new to this and you're just starting out, I think. I will hope this video to cover the basic stuff that you need. So, uh, yeah, let's let's get into this, okay? By the time that you're watching this video, I don't know, maybe there will be Krita 69, I don't know. But right now we're having Krita 5, the better version of that. I will leave a link in the description for you to take a look at that. And yeah, let's just um, dive in. So, very basic stuff. Um, get a new file get a new canvas get something that you can draw on so you can make your animations right i usually go by default by this this is the hd version for video if you want to make something like 4k which is, i don't see the point of that but you can make just change the numbers over here the resolution when you're making animations just make sure the resolution is not something higher like 300 pixels or whatever because resolution is important only when uh mostly uh, actually uh, when you um print stuff okay so we're not gonna print anything so 72 it's fine and basically i don't touch anything else now on the side you have animation templates ignore them for now because you probably could put in you and uh you will not need them uh, if you will but you can just click on them and and you know there's the english version there's the japanese uh version so animation custom document right um this is the, the resolution i uh, just click create and it will create a canvas for you so far so good now this is the setup that i'm using so we're not going to use the setup uh we can change the setup from window working space and then you can go to animation uh you see that the timeline it says animation timeline is moved down here this is the onion skin is moved here and right now if I was on my tablet, I would probably move stuff around because I don't have enough space to work with. That's okay. On the top here, we have some tools that we're going to explore. The only tool that you want to be considered right now is the brush tool. It's over here. And if I draw something, again, I'm drawing with my mouse. My camera is dying. That's fantastic. You don't need to see me. <laughs> so right now, I am using just the mouse and I can, do, I can still draw so with my mouse. So what the problem that we are going to experience here is that we on this side here you see the layers on the layers we have only one layer and that layer's name is background so we are drawing on the background the background layer is a layer that is filled with white and uh it's impossible to animate on that layer because if i start making keyframes over here i cannot see the previous keyframe and that's a problem especially if you're making uh favorite frame animation so Big no no to animate on your background layer. Hit Ctrl and Z, Ctrl and Z a couple of times until you remove the, the, the scribbles that I just made. One more time, there we go. Uh, you can make a new layer from this button over here. And now you will have a paint layer number one. On this layer, as you see, there's nothing when I hover on it. Uh, there's just nothing. If I draw something, and I hover again, Come on, now there's something there. This layer, hit control Z. This layer is a transparent piece of paper if you want to think of that way, that's fine. On this layer, you can start animating right away. How you can start animating right away? Well, <clears throat> you can draw a, 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 a ball because everybody draws the, the ball. And now we will take a look on, on our timeline. Uh, the timeline is where we make our keyframes because that's how you make a favorite frame animation by making different keyframes in order to make this illusion of movement. Duh, if you don't know, now you know. Now, how to make a keyframe? Well, I want to make keyframe on frame 6. How to do that? You can click the right button and you go keyframe and that's not how you make a keyframe. So, you can make a, create a blank frame. And now your amazing drawing of this amazing bow will disappear. Now you will be like, oh, what happened with my bow? Well, I, I don't know. Check, check if they're there. Um, 
Uh, your bar is still there. It's over here on this frame. So on this frame, we just create a new keyframe. So how we can um, make sure that we see the previous frame so we can be accurate with our drawing? Well, on your layer here, because as you know, this is the same name as this layer over here. You would call it its name paint layer. And this one's also paint layer number one. We can double click on that and actually call this ball. Click enter and now it will change here. This is your animation timeline with all of your keyframes, right? So here we make keyframes and we make our animation come to life. Now, what, it doesn't matter how many layers that you're gonna have here from this plus button, you can create as many layers as you want, as I said. Control Z because I don't need that many layers. Uh, they will appear automatically here on your timeline. And on each layer that you have, you can create animation yes it doesn't matter if it's going to be the background layer or it's going to be any other layer you can make animations here you can make keyframes over here and automatically that layer the one that you make keyframes on will have some sort of animation right now we don't have any animation here well i can go to the first frame which increases frame zero if i play this button uh this will happen because this is the animation that we just created because on this uh frame we have nothing as i said we need to open uh, i didn't say that but you need to see your previous frame how you can see your previous frame in order to make uh, more complicated animations well if you click this little light bulb over here and you will see your previous frame which is this amazing ball now I can see this previous frame and if I want to be accurate with my amazing drawing skills with my mouse I can try to replicate that there we go and I can click on this button over here which is transform to I can transform or in this case I can move this I can move it here and I can hit enter to deselect now if I go here to the first frame you will see that since the onion skin is on I can see the the next frame because after before this room there's nothing right there's, there's, there's nothing here so this is the first frame it's frame for zero okay let's just play this boom yeah that's the amazing animation that you just created well done now the problem is as you see it's a marker right that goes through the frames and i can go faster or if i'm smart uh -huh, i can use uh shortcuts on my keyboard which are these over here you're going to see them on the screen it's the, the arrow keys on your keyboard okay so i can go through the frames and i can see my drawings there that's great and all but i have too many frames here let's say if i want to end my animation on frame 11 by the way if you go through the frames if you select them over here you can see the number uh the on the specific frame now i want to end my animation on frame 11 so all these frames that you see here, I don't need them because my, my animation is so long that I, I, why, why? I don't need that long animation, right? So what I can do is go to this button over here and I can say to Krita, hey, 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 hey Krita, hi, how are you? Can you end my animation on frame 11? And I'm gonna hit enter. And then I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna deselect my onion skin from here and I'm gonna play it. And uh, yeah, Krita will end my animation on frame 11. By default, though, uh, keep in mind that Krita, once it ends its final um, frame, it will repeat the uh, the rest. So it will go to frame 11, then it will go to frame 0 until it goes to frame 11 again. And we have this uh, sort of a looping animation happening. I know it's amazing how I can replicate that. So, so far, we have very simple animation. Let's say this is your animation that you want to make. Uh, how to export this amazing masterpiece that you see here? Well, you can export that. You can actually render it. Okay, so how, how you can render your animation? Well, go to File, Render Animation. Good. Open the window. Open the window. Where is it? Are you, Krista, what happened there? Ah, it opens. Uh, when you click on Render Animation, we will have a couple of options how you can render your animation. Ah, uh, that's great. <laughs> now, uh, you can either render your animation into image sequence or you can either render your animation into video, which is, I know that a lot of you will like to do that. And the problem is that a lot of you will have this little problem and that 
problem names is this little guy over here. It could be a girl. I don't know, but it's a pain in the ass, as I say. So yeah, you have this little uh, little fellow over here, and nine out of ten times, nah, five out of ten. Oh, I love it. Five out of ten times. Sometimes I'm trying to say this that uh, this little thingy here, that you see. It won't work, and I know that they make um, uh, people from Krypton they keep making updates and stuff. And uh, sometimes I also find this uh, build up that like you see here doesn't work for me, so I have to try to go around and uh, find other ways to hurt my animation. But let's say that you have this build up. This build up you can download from the link in the description, and I also make a separate video on that because, again, a lot of people are having trouble with their build ups, and this leads to them not be able to export their animations into video, which is a bummer. Now, let's say you don't want to export your animation into a video, you're like, I don't need to export that into a video, I just want to make a silly gift to post on my social media. That's great, you can still do that. If you render this as GIF image, now there's a problem still. If your build up doesn't work, you cannot render this as a GIF image. It doesn't matter how many times you try, okay? Because your build up may not work. And if you're one of those people, I have to say, I'm sorry. I made separate videos on that topic and I will link them in the description down below and you can check them out. And if it still doesn't work, well, go to Twitter and and ask them how they will make this work, <laughs> okay? Uh, but if your build doesn't work, I have a simple solution. Just export your animation into image sequence and you'll be fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course you'll be fine. Now, um, let's say I want to export this. It's very pretty straightforward, so I don't want to show you this. So what's the point? I mean, you can look, literally you have the build up here, and then you choose your location of the image, and you can save this here, I guess, and you can hit OK, and hit OK, and it will take some time, and I now have to go and look for it. Okay, here's my animation. Look at it. It's amazing, I know, nobody can replicate that, ever, don't even try, okay? <laughs> but yeah, that's, 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 that's the animation into a GIF image. Because, uh, again, my build-up works and that's why it, it, it is uh, working, okay, okay. What else do you need to know about uh, making animations in Sacred City? You can color those animations, by the way, yeah. Yes, you can. The way you can color your animation is like Krita, there's a couple of ways you can do that, but I, the way I color my animation is I just make a new layer. I double click on that layer, you can call this color. And the best way you can color something when it has those contact lines is to put the layer beneath your uh, lines. Uh, and then, so the lines have to be on top and the layer that you're gonna color on has to be on the bottom beneath those lines and then you we're gonna introduce another tool uh which name is the fill tool or the f you press f on your keyboard you select this one how we can change our color on the filter because right now if i should color this it will be black and i don't want to call my amazing ball and yeah, that's a ball someone's asking it's a ball shut up you will notice these two squares the first square is the foreground color the second square is the oh let's see the uh the background color there you go now the foreground color is the color, if I click on it, is the color that we can draw and color with. So if I change this to red, if I click OK, color this, this will be the color that I color with. Uh, I'm gonna hit Ctrl and Z, or you can change from here. I may give you a palette. Let's just try this one. Oh, it's nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. Now there's a couple of uh, stuff that you can look out for if the color doesn't color properly when you select your fill tool you go to two options ah, and then you have to move a little bit around here and just navigate properly and there we go and then we see everything yes we do if your color doesn't work properly when you color it uh go to your two options which are there over here and uh go to sample over here and I don't know if is it by default, I'm not sure, but sometimes it could be on here, on current layer. So now, 
if I hit Ctrl and C. Uh, my favorite uh, combination. And now if I color, um, it will color the whole layer that I have here because uh, what I set here to the fill tool, I said just see the current layer. So the current layer is this one. On this layer, we have nothing. Yes, the lines are on top, but they are not on this layer. They are on a separate layer. So on this layer, technically we have nothing, and the the fill tool just calls everything that it sees. So I'm gonna hit Ctrl and Z, and I'm gonna bring this back to all layers, and I can call this again. And now it will see the lines, which are on top of a different layer. Then again, right? Uh, and you can see them and it will call on them and they're great. I have made many, many, many uh, videos on this topic. I don't know why I'm still uh, going on this. So anyway, on this layer though, on this, not layer, on this keyframe, let me just put, put this back on. I don't need to look at you. There you go. On this keyframe that you see here, uh, my previous keyframe, my previous coloring is over here. So I want to delete this and move it here. Before you make any changes to your animation over on the canvas, make sure that when you want to make any change, go to the frame that you want. In this case, it's frame six, right? And press this button over here. Add a blank keyframe, or you can do it by uh, right button and then add a blank keyframe. But we have a button over here, which is over this one, okay? So the previous keyframe is remember it's over here. And the next keyframe, which is over here, has a blank keyframe right now. So now if I color, it will remember my color over here. And now if we go back and we'll play this, now we have a color on the amazing bow. Yes, it's a bow. Shut up. Uh, so far, so good. You just made amazing. Uh, <laughs> you just made amazing animation, which is great. This is like the basic stuff that you can uh, know. Uh, you can do. Uh, here you can write uh, uh, words on here. You can you can make actual um, animated uh, te text to use on your own videos as well. There's many many other ways you can use uh, clicks, uh, not just for hand draw animation. You can use your mouse. As you see, I'm doing a great, amazing job. I know. Ah, <sighs> but yeah. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments down below. I usually answer. Um, and uh, yeah, if you you know, um, um, yeah, that, that's how I'm gonna answer this. Uh, not what? Uh, that's how I'm gonna finish this up. So uh, this will be my final creator tutorial video because uh, there's nothing left. It's basically a frame by frame animation software. Uh, they are adding stuff like moving, like um, motion training inside, which is great. Uh, and I have made a bunch of other videos in that same topic, so hopefully uh, you can get something from this. Anyway, stay safe. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.